So uh, welcome to the uh, central uh, TV and uh, radio tower here in China, Beijing. It's a four or five meter structure. We've got an observatory with great views of Beijing at uh, the roof there. 238 meter observatory revolving uh, restaurant. I'll take you out, we'll have a look around. Central uh, TV and radio tower here in Beijing. So uh, chatting us, we have some tickets and uh, we'll go inside and uh, we'll have a look around. Central TV tower, TV and radio tower, four and five meter structure, built in 1992. Now, go and have a look. Uh, see out there people, yeah? It's a great views of Beijing at uh, 238 meter altitude revolving restaurant. The sun out as well. It's sunny in Beijing at last. It's starting to feel at home. The sun out. Uh, see out there. So we're up to the uh, China Central uh, TV Tower, CCTV. It's a uh, pretty good view. It's been a lovely day of uh, Beijing. Lovely day, lovely clear skies. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's how we got in. It's the street entrance down there. Uh, this is uh, Yongtuan Park with the uh, Yongtuan Lake. Just out there. Uh, you can see the CBD. Asian way out in the distance. This tower is uh, 405 meters high. Tower is 405 meters. Uh, that building straight ahead, China Zen, it's called. It's uh, 500 and something. First highest building in China. I think. See the CCTV headquarters building. Uh, uh, the deck that I'm standing on is 230 meters. Yongtuan. Yeah. Traffic. Today there are 20 million people. Today 20 million people that call Beijing home. Look at that there. It's so, near the uh, peninsula. Peninsula, which is it's in that direction. It's near the uh, Pavilion City, Tiananmen Square area. It's right there. Yeah, it's Beijing. You can see the Great Wall. You see the Great Wall just over here. Yeah, welcome to the tower, yeah. 230 meters. China's uh, second highest building. You can see all the suburban uh, and Beijing and stuff. The park down there. They put uh, drawings on the uh, industrial front end of the building. Yeah, we're going to go to the suburban Beijing. Just start to see the hills. Beijing is surrounded on three sides by hills. You start to see the hills in the distance. That's where the great wall is. Yeah, it's today 20 million people here. Yeah. Uh, Shanghai has more. The world's most populous uh, capital city. Beijing is the world's most populous capital city. Uh, the world's third largest city. I think Chongqing and Shanghai got a large and dense population. Maybe it's 20 million, Shanghai 24 million. Uh, and we'll be around. See the shadow of the tower there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the, the hills. Beijing is on three sides by hills over here, as we know. So on three sides by hills, that's our shadow. It's on three sides by hills. Stops through the hills. You can see it's through the 
red wall is. Sort of fortifications to protect from uh, invasions from the north. All of the Mongols uh, still got parts there after all. Yeah, he's getting his car, yeah? That's all right. I think my history is correct. So Beijing will become the, uh, the only city in the world to have hosted the Winter and the Summer Olympics. That shop here. The only city on the planet. Some of the other towers around the place. So much I've been up. New Zealand. Macau I've been up. Berlin, that's where we were last time. Yeah, it's a few. KL, been at that one. Shanghai, I've been at. Guangzhou, I haven't. We're number two. Oh, the Toronto CN Tower is number one. We're number two. Cool. So there are seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Beijing. Seven, I think. One of them is these Grand Canals, so it's frozen over here. We're in uh, January. It's January, yeah, it's cold outside here. It's frozen over, it's one of the Grand Canals. There's people walking across it now. Yeah. It's built as a series of waterways from Beijing all the way through to Tianjin. There's people walking across there. Beijing, Tianjin, uh, all the way down towards uh, Shanghai area. So linking the Yellow and the Pearl River. The Yellow and Pearl River, it's going back thousands of years, yeah, hundreds of years. Grand Canal system. Uh, it's part of it. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pretty amazing what they did in those days. The Great Wall. You can see the hills in the distance. So that's where the Great Wall is, yeah? I'll just zoom in, yeah? I'm not sure if you can see it. There's, uh, you can see there's some brown markings on the hill. I'm not sure if that's a Great, great Wall. I'm looking at a viewfinder. It's only about 40 kilometers here, the Great Wall from Beijing. I'm not sure if that's it, I can't see it properly. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Yeah, I'm going to put it on my 65 inch TV and have a look. Okay. Yeah, that's frozen today. People walking across it. Oh, the UNESCO won't have this out. Standing on the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Probably the most famous lake uh, in Beijing is Kunming Lake. Kunming Lake, probably the most famous. That's at the Summer Palace. That's going to be frozen over when I visit. Uh, I'm going to get the boat ride in.
that's it, all the way around, very quick. Back to the lake. Yeah, the lake's alright, there's people like water skiing and stuff. I think in summer, oh no, the lake's frozen. I think in summer, it's quite nice. Look at the lake, it's frozen over. Some boats in the lake. There's a bridge there. Thanks for watching us today. Yeah, Beijing CCTV. Now. So there was the visit up there, great views, yeah? Lovely clear day, we saw quite a bit up there, it's nice views. First time I've seen Beijing like that. Happy I came. Central TV Tower, alrighty. Time to uh, find a taxi. Time to find a cab and uh, to go back to the peninsula, yeah? About 20 minutes, find a cab somewhere here. Please take me to the pen. Alright. Photo here? Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. Let me open the window. It's fine. Thank you. That's great. Okay, thank you. It's okay. Can close the window. It's okay. Thanks.
you very much.